I remember one of my first meditation teachers, he was talking about how on average the human brain has 50 to 70,000 thoughts per day. Like that, that's a lot of thoughts per day. And he was talking about like, how many wacky thoughts do you think we have per day? And I'm like, dude, if you're like me, you got a lot of wacky thoughts. Then he said, imagine this, imagine if there was a machine that you were hooked up to all day long. And everywhere you went, everybody around you could see these crazy thoughts that are coming through your head all day long. And I could literally feel the anxiety building in my body, just imagining this scenario where everybody could see every single thought that I had. Well, here's the crazy thing. That machine actually exists and apparently it's Twitter. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you out with your mental health. And sometimes what I do is I pull situations from the YouTube community and other news sources and things like that and pop culture to try to help you out with your mental health. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe, ring the whole notification bell because I put out a ton of videos. All right, so no, I am not a drama channel, but there's a lot of drama going on and there's a lot of stuff that you, yes you, can learn to improve your mental health. So you probably clicked on this video because you saw I'm gonna be talking about Laura Lee and Manny MUA and Nikita Dragon and Gabriel, what's his last name, Zambora? Zambora, I don't know, I'm not sure, he's new to me, all right? But anyways, there's so much going on right now because of Twitter and it just absolutely blows my mind. So most recently, Laura Lee made her apology video, and I'm not gonna dive into the specifics. Chances are, if, you, if you're watching my video right now, you, you're already caught up to speed. It's probably the hardest things I've ever done. All right, even Philip DeFranco himself covered this drama in the beauty community, all right? But like, it's it's crazy to me because I am a very late person to Twitter. When I started this YouTube channel, I hopped on social media. Don't forget to follow me, at The Rewired Soul. So I'm on Instagram and I'm on Twitter and I'm looking at Twitter, I'm like, this is pure chaos. Like this thing is just filled with so much noise. And what, what we're seeing, and it's not just these beauty gurus like, Laura Lee and Nikita Dragon and Gabriel and Manny and stuff like that. It's not just them, it's everybody. We see this stuff all the time. Like James Gunn, the director of Guardians of the Gal Galaxy. Boom, right? There's so many people on a regular basis where their old tweets are getting pulled up and it's because people have little to no impulse control and they cannot filter themselves. Like every single thought that goes to you, through your head does not to, need to be posted on social media. It doesn't need to be. Now there's a million reasons why people do this because they're looking for attention, because of their ego, because they're catty, all these different things. That's why I make so many videos on a wide range of topics. Like mental health is so much more than just simply not having a mental illness. Like mental health is impulse control. Mental health is anger management. Mental health is getting rid or minimizing your pride and your ego. Like you gotta think about the headspace. Like what were they doing here? What were they doing here? When you put those things out, like most of them were trying to be funny. Most of them were trying to be funny and now it's biting them right in the butt. Their subscriber counts are going down tremendously. They're losing like brand deals. It is bananas. So when I am on Twitter and I'm looking around just scrolling through, I even talked about this in my video I did, which I'll link up here, about the mean tweets about Demi Lovato. Like I read these tweets and I'm like, I really hope that you never become successful. I, like, isn't that crazy? Isn't that a crazy thing to say? Like, I hope you never become successful. The reason being is because we see the, the environment that we live in, right? People are going to dig up your old tweets. So how do we combat this? What do we do? What, what do you do? What do you, the person watching this do? You gotta be more mindful. Okay, so like when I talk about meditation, like I'm not talking about meditation just all like tra la la, like meditation is scientifically proven to improve the strength of your prefrontal cortex, which is responsible for some very important stuff, such as impulse control, emotional regulation, logical decision making, 
all sorts of stuff. So if you meditate, you are strengthening your prefrontal cortex. So as you are typing out this tweet that may get you in trouble, years later, you could be like, oh wait, maybe this is a bad idea, right? Your ego isn't getting in the way and saying, no, you're justified in doing this, you're justified in saying this and all sorts of stuff, because you never know when it's going to come back. And it just blows my mind. Like, there's so many people who are against social media and technology and things like that. Somebody who I follow all the time is Gary Vaynerchuk. Some of you might know about him, but he talks about how social media isn't bad. Social media is just exposing people for who they really are. Like, just because the platform, and I, I believe that, like, just because the platform exists doesn't mean anybody is forcing people to say the crazy thoughts that come through their head, their racist thoughts, their sexist thoughts, their homophobic thoughts. Nobody's forcing them to put those. They are given something to do that with. I remember another meditation teacher that I had, he said this, I forgot what he was referencing, uh, but it, it's, very, it's very useful when we look at social media. He talked about a knife, right? A knife is a tool. When you put the knife in, a hand, in the hands of an experienced chef, let's say Gordon Ramsay, I love me some Gordon Ramsay. You give Gordon Ramsay a knife, right? I just watched him the other day on MasterChef, and boy, did he fillet a trout, let me tell you, all right? But you put the knife in the hands of a chef, they make some amazing, amazing stuff happen. But if you put that same knife into the hands of somebody who's not paying attention or their emotions are all over the place, some bad things can happen. They might cut their hand, slice a finger off. They might, I don't know, hurt somebody else. You see what I'm, I'm saying? So social media, it's not a bad thing. It just depends on whose hands it's in. So if it's in the hands of somebody who has poor emotional regulation, poor anger management, poor impulse control, it, all those things, then yeah, they're gonna hurt themselves. And that's what we're seeing right now in the beauty community. So again, like I said, I am not a drama channel. I take from very, uh, you know, popular things going on in our society right now, things that you can relate to. So you can take a look at it, assess your life and say, oh wow, maybe I need to start meditating. Maybe I need to start, you know, working on some of these things. Let me tell you this right now. I am a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. There's a lot of people who didn't like me, right? There's still some people who don't like me. That's cool. But anyways, as I was rebuilding my relationships, like in early sobriety, I had a lot of anger issues. I still had a lot of impulse control issues. Let me tell you this. I have repaired 99.9% .9 of my relationships and here's why. There are so many text messages that I never sent. That I sat there, I read over and I was like, wow, I'm not gonna send this. But there were some times, and I still actually do this today, I do this with my beautiful girlfriend. When I'm about to write something or reply to something, I will send it over to her and say, what do you think about this? Do you think this comes off in the wrong way? Heck, I even do it at work before I send certain emails. I'm like, what do you think about this, right? So if you are questioning what you're about to send out and put into the world because everything on the internet exists forever, unless you're like Laura Lee and delete like 30,000 tweets, like unless like you're, you're, you're ready to deal with those repercussions, like get a second opinion. Like get a second opinion and say, hey, do you think I should post this? And if you're tweeting like a thousand times a day, like when I heard Laura Lee like deleted 30,000 tweets, I'm like, how do you have more than 30,000 tweets? Like what is happening? But Twitter's full of noise, it's full of nonsense. But really, I really hope I gave you some useful tips. And the biggest tip I want you to walk away from is like, take your cell phone, go to the app store and download a meditation app. Just do it for five to 10 minutes a day and you'll be golden. I promise you, you will be golden. All right, but let's do this. Down in the comments below, let's, let's have this discussion. How do you feel that you are with your impulse control in regards to what you post online? Let's have a conversation down below, all right? But that's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and if you are new here, again, my channel's all about helping you out with your mental health. Click that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all beautiful. All right, if you wanna check out some more content, you can click or tap right there. So thanks so much for watching. Stop using Twitter if you can't do it responsibly, and I'll see you next time.